The first convoy of trucks carrying humanitarian aid crossed into Gaza Saturday from the Egyptian border. It comes after 12 days of total siege of the Strip since the October 7th attack on southern Israel by Hamas militants, which killed 1,400 Israelis. But for many who have been displaced in the growing conflicts, 20 trucks are simply not enough for the enclave's 2.3 million people. Where is your humanity? We need to know what is being done, says this man, who is calling on Arab countries to send help. Before the outbreak of war, an average of about 450 aid trucks were arriving daily in Gaza. Since the October 7th attack, Israel has hammered Gaza with airstrikes. Here, in a crowded school in Gaza's south, Tahrir Tabash and her children are among hundreds of other families taking shelter from Israeli bombardment. She says that if her children hear so much as a chair being moved, they jump in fear. Our children suffer a lot at night. They cry all night. They pee themselves without meaning to. And I don't have time to clean up after them, one after the other. The place is full. I can't take care of my children, clean for them. I can't. There is not even 1% of a good, healthy, and safe life for a child. There is no safety. If we don't die from war, we will die from epidemics and diseases. More than 4,000 Palestinians have been killed, including hundreds of children, and 13,000 wounded in Gaza, according to the Palestinian Health Ministry. The United Nations says more than a million have been made homeless. There are no safe bomb shelters in Gaza, where over 50% of Palestinians live in poverty. In Egypt, Arab leaders condemned the siege of Gaza at a summit convened hastily to find a peace settlement. But the absence of Israel and senior U.S. officials at the meeting undermined any prospect for halting the escalating war.